What's up, YouTube? It's Joey Armstrong here today, and with me, fresh off the finals express, is... Arbor Super Reverie here. Um, this is my first cameo. Uh, it's literally my first free day. I'm happy to be here with my buddy Joey. And uh, Wolfo Tutorial coming soon your way, I promise. Hi, right, guys. Today's top five will be our favorite uh, toys out of a whole collection. I want you guys to comment down below. Tell us your favorite toys from your whole collection. Try to vary away from Morphers because we all know how amazing those are. And we're going to start off. And Chris, do you want to start us? Yes, and before I start, I do want to say um, this video is unique in the sense that you're giving us a point of view of your collection. So have fun with telling us your top five favorite pieces of your collection. Uh, just to reiterate what Joey said, make sure that um, they're not all Morphers. They can be a couple of Morphers, but th this was all Morphers, and it'd be like the top five Morphers we did with Israel Parker that one time. And th that'd be a cool video, but this is more about toys too. So I just want to reiterate that. So that, well, with that, all that being said, without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce my number five. Um, this is special because, um, as you know, I'm more of a Morpher collector, and I collect a lot of figures too. And I'm not really into Megazords that much. I mean, I like Megazords, but I don't collect them a lot. I have all the originals, not all the originals, but I have MMPR ones, you know, a lot of the new Super Mega Force ones, the Dino Charge one, um, stuff like that. But um, this one's special in my heart because this is one of the ones I wanted to get. And if I only had to choose one or two to get in the whole collection, it would be what this one. So number five is my SPD, Delta Squad Megazord. Um, I love this toy. Um, I've actually taken it out of the box, messed with it a few times. Super fun. Um, I got it on eBay, and I think Joey was there with me when I won it, and it was for less than 50 bucks. And um, at PMC, the first PMC before I went with uh, the guys, the fam, um, someone wanted, wanted to sell this to me for 120 and I almost did it, but I just said I fought my instincts. I said, you know, I'll find it for cheaper. I found it for 50 bucks, and it's all complete. I love it. I'm not really into Megazords, but anyone who knows me knows I love SPD and I'm extremely biased. So I look at this Megazord and at its basic core, it's just amazing and I love it. All right, guys, my top five would be the Dragon Dagger. Now, Chris was also, uh, he wasn't with me, but I called him on the phone because I was debating with myself because it was right around PMC time where I was trying to save money. And he said I should just go for it because I would regret it otherwise. So I do not regret it. This thing's amazing. I have it on my shelf every day. It actually needs to be dusted now that I look at it. And, yeah, guys, this is this is an amazing piece. If you guys don't have it, I suggest trying to find it, but I'm not sure what they're going for right now. I believe they're still in stores, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so number four on my list. Um, I am a huge fan of exclusivities or just rarities. I actually have a money table in my apartment, which is a table that has all my rarest and slash most expensive uh, Power Ranger collectibles, and more rarity. But a lot of pieces just so happen to be expensive because rarity and price kind of correlate hand in hand. So this one means more to me. It's the um, Power Warfare Con key set with the Titanium Ranger and uh, the Jungle Fury Violet Ranger, RJ. This is special to me because uh, it's exclusive. It's rare. You can only get it if you went to PMC or if you bought it for outrageous upcharge on eBay. Um, I got this at retail, and it means a lot to me because Israel and Joey um, stood with me in line to get it. And... Um, the, the bonding of being there, standing in line, stands in my mind. The fact that it's rare stands in my mind. The fact that it's two of the most epic rangers, especially uh, Titanium, stands in my mind. Um, all those things together just make it super, super uh, sentimental of my collection value. So it's my number four for that very reason, because it, it, uh, of Power Warfare 2014 and all the great emotions that go with that event, because my boys were there. And I look forward to the Power Morphicon 2016 with, with the fam, and it's going to be awesome. So this is my number four. All right, now on to my number four. Before we get to that, I've got a couple announcements that I forgot to say at the beginning. Uh, first off, I bought a couple things that you will see in this, but the most important thing is I, me and Israel are flying out in July 3rd, 4th, which is going to be a holiday, and going to see our boy, Christopher Garcia. How do you feel about that, man? I'm super amped. I'm super excited. 
I'm not going to get any sleep because I want to spend all the time I can with my boys. Um, actually, you guys will be here for a week and you fly on the 4th. I'm going to look for things for us to do. So um, it's going to be a great time. We already, I already talked to Israel. I already talked to you about what y'all kind of want to do. I'm going to sprinkle in what I want to do, and it's going to be a great time. Power Rangers, uh, Trivial Pursuit, Power Rangers Monopoly. We're going to play, uh, you know, Pokemon trading card game. We're going to watch Power Rangers. Uh, we're going to go to the Mall of America, which is the biggest mall in the United States. It has a theme park inside. Take you guys to baseball games. We're going to take the train. It's going to be a great time. We're going to eat cheeseburgers with cheese on the inside of the meat. And I just, I just can't wait. I wish it was tomorrow. I wish it was in the week. But, you know, patience, good things come to those who wait. And I cannot wait to have my best friends at my apartment. I look forward to that. It's going to be really awesome. I already bought the tickets yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. I think yes. yesterday. Two days ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now that we, uh, we uh, got that out of the way, I'll get on to my number four, which is one of the things I have bought recently. It is the Predazord. And not only that, it can go into the evil Predazord, which is why I like to keep it in. And it can go into the good pre or, well, I guess you would still call it Predazord, but when Merrick's extra controller instead of Zunaku. Like both of them, it, I got it for a pretty good price. This thing's sick. It has joints, and uh, you guys will see a review on it soon. Um, I probably will review one other Megazord that hasn't came in yet, and that's going to be a surprise because I'm probably going to do an unboxing for it. So that is my number four. That is a good number four, Joey. Um, a, little, a, little, a little early, but you know. Um, you just got it, but you loved it, so I'm glad it's on there. Now, my number three is goes back to the theme of exclusivity, and we'll stay in the keys. Um, this is my number three. It's the MMPR San Diego Comic-Con um, key pack. And the reason why I picked this is because, like I said, um, exclusivity. I like to collect rare items. Um you know, uh, Israel and I have the 24 karat gold uh, legacy Green Ranger, White Ranger Morpher. Um, so stuff like that I really, really like. And that is an honorable mention for me. It's not on my list, but that's an honorable mention. I like this set because um, when it was first announced, there wasn't there wasn't a there, – it, there, we didn't know if we were going to get the whole MMPR team, uh, the girls included. So when this, when this was announced, I remember thinking, I want this. And the fact that it's metallic – I love metallic wave of toys. I love it. I just, I just love this because um, I got it at PMC, um, and I paid a little bit over retail. Well, probably a lot of retail, but for the prices it was going for on eBay, similar range. And I got it at PMC, and this is the cornerstone of my collection because it's the keys, and it's the NPR team. It's the team that started it all, and I just love it. And um, he, having this key set is a rare piece to me, and I love it, and that's why it's my number three on my list of favorite things in my collection. That is amazing, man. Those are awesome. And uh, my number three is also a Ranger key pack. It is the one you got me. It's the one I keep in box, keep on my shelf all the time. Chris got me this because I wanted one that was out of box and in box. I kept this one in box. It's amazing. Uh, I love all my Ranger Keys, as you can tell. I'm huge on the Ranger Keys. I would buy all of them, even though the new ones stuck are um, hard to find. And, yeah, guys, these are sick. And if you haven't picked them up, I suggest them because they're amazing. I just threw that on accident. All right, so this is number two, correct? Yes. Number two, and this kind of shifts into from exclusivity, exclusivity um, to uh, just personal bias slash favorites. This is my number two. <clears throat> the MMPR Red Ranger movie figure. The only this is my number two because I love the Red Ranger, as everyone knows. The MMPR Red Ranger is like one of my favorites. Probably after SPD Red, it's my favorite. Um, and just the fact that they released a screen accurate version of the MMPR movie figures. As soon as I heard that, um, you know, I got a lot of texts from Angel and stuff, and everyone else like Joey and this bro. Only pictures of it when it was first announced. I remember thinking, "Oh my god, I cannot wait to get it." The fact that it's screen accurate, because when I was a kid, and even after uh, I grew up, I just collected the the shiny ones, and they weren't screen accurate, but it was so cool that they're metallic. I love metallic. I tell everybody. But the fact that this is screen accurate, I think it's pretty awesome, and I love it so much that um, Israel got me an extra one that he found in the store and shipped it to me. 
and I paid him back for it, but he should um, he, he bought me one. Thank you, Israel. Appreciate that. And it's out of the box. So during finals, um, this is on my display area, but the loose one is on my desk, and it was just kind of like staring at me while I was doing work. And I would just be looking at it while I was studying, thinking, man, that's so cool. It's because it, it's so, it's pretty accurate. It's the movie suit, which is one of the best suits ever. We talked about that. So for personal reasons, this $18 toy is number two in my entire collection. I love it, and I have, love it so much. I have one out of the box, and I mess with it. That's it. This thing is just so cool. I need to find an NPR white one, and maybe I have the news, but that red one is awesome because it has the uh, – the, uh, the laser scanner or whatever that he uses in the show, so I, th I love how they added that. And uh, my second favorite would be it's Megazord. It's the first Megazord I bought at PMC, most memorable one for me. I kept going back to the guy and kept asking how much it was because I am terrible with remembering, and he gave me a good deal on it. I love this thing to death. It's uh, one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I see it every day, and it just... It brings joy to have this thing because it's also one of my favorite Megazords. And it was one of the things I was hunting for at PMC, and it was the first thing I bought at PMC. And then Chris and then let me go, and I bought two other Megazords instead. <laughs> uh, but that would be my second favorite, guys. It's amazing, and I love it so much. All right, Joey, that was good times. Um, I'm glad you picked up Megazords, and then uh, little did I know, uh, Israel and I kind of left you alone for a second, and you show up with more Megazords, and that's, that's PMC, man. You, you might walk out with some Megazords, you might walk out with a good deal, like Israel got the White Tiger Zord and the Saba. You might walk out with, you know, the San Diego Comic-Con, 24 karat gold, uh, Dragon Dagger. I mean, there's just no telling what you're going to walk out with PMC. You might even walk out with a child. You might even buy a small child. Who knows? Um, I digress. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> Number one is actually a morpher, and it's a morpher because I do morpher reviews. I am known as the morpher guy, or not the morpher guy, but one of the morpher guys. <clears throat> and I love morphers so much, and it, it doesn't go to exclusive exclusivity. It goes more to personal bias, like my number two, close to my heart, and it is the SPD uh, morpher. It's the Japanese version, so it's a Deco license. Um, I love this because, as everyone knows, I love SPD, and I'm SPD Red, so there it is. Um, I love this because, honestly, it's what they use on the show. So I base this is as close as I'm going to get to being on the SPD show in my mind. So the fact that you can buy a toy from Japan that was the exact prop used on the show just makes it amazing. And the, the workmanship is smooth. It's not all bumpy like the American version. It's just a very beautiful morpher. It's it's what they use. The fact that I love SPD makes this my favorite toy. <clears throat> and um, if I only had a select number of morphers to get, this would probably be my first choice um, after MNPR, maybe even before MNPR, because after the Legacy line, they're really available for the most part. So this is my favorite. Um, toy in my collection because it's close to my heart, it's SPD, it's screen accurate, and it's just amazing and I just feel I just feel so awesome within my hand. So I love it and here it is. The SPD uh Delta Morpher. So. That's awesome man. I love that morpher when I got to play with that PNC it made me want one. I still want one. I might try to get the shadow one first since that's my favorite from this season. I picked a uh, morpher as well for my first favorite. It's not the one you would think it is just for I just got this and it, it's so satisfactory that it falls on the ground. So uh, without further ado, I just bought this. I got the, I've had this, but I bought the Turbo Ranger key, so I'm now complete. It was the Lost Galaxy one. As you can see, I bought stickers for it. It's amazing. I love it. It has nice weight to it. And I, it's just one of my favorite things in my collection to finally have this complete. and. It was so awesome while I was replacing the stickers. Even Chris said uh, when I took the stickers off, it looked kind of like the one from the movie. And yeah, guys, that's my top, uh, that's my top, top toy in my collection, and it's so amazing. And our collections have grown for the past couple of years, and they're so sick. Anything you want to say, Chris? Yeah, I just want to say I look forward to hearing everyone's top five in their collection. And because um, everyone's collection is unique, that's what I like about Power Rangers. 
the only way you're actually gonna have the exact collection of someone else is if you buy like one toy. Say you buy a Legacy Dragon Dagger and you say that's all I'm gonna collect. And someone else has a Legacy Dragon Dagger. Well, then you have the same exact collection. For most part, they don't just have a Legacy Dragon Dagger. Um, but um, what's unique about the scene and Power Ranger collecting is that everyone has different likes, dislikes, tastes, um, ways they display. Um, Angel has like all the Zoo Ranger Legacy Morphers. He has all the regular Legacy Morphers. He's the Legacy dude. You know, I'm all about my Morpher collection and the the figurines, the like the Ranger figures. Joey's all about the Megazords. Israel's all about the all about the Morphers as well, and um, the green and white Ranger um, props and Zords. And um, so everyone has their own niche and stuff. And, and James, you know, is into the White Ranger stuff and just the old, more old school stuff. So we all have our own niche. So I look forward to hearing what everyone has to say. And I don't want to keep rambling, but um, that's what kind of binds us all together as a fandom. Um, our collections, what we're proud of, what we love. And I just want to say I'm excited to see everyone's top five on their collection and feel free to comment. Thank you for joining me with this top five, Chris. It was amazing to do it with you. It's been a while since we've done a video together. It was super awesome seeing your top fives. And uh, please comment down below. Let us know. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, re really comment down below because I really want to know what you guys have in your collections. And as always, guys, may the power protect you guys, and have a great day. Catch you on the flip side.